Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So on our previous video regarding Blazor, so we successfully created a model based on our SQL Server 2019 database and we also created an API. So now we will just use this API and create some pages so that we can create, read and update records from our SQL Server 2019 database. So let's get started. So now we just need to modify our client project. So under pages, we will just create a folder. This customer. So inside this customer folder, we will add a component, which is a Blazor component. So we will just name it index. So this will be the index page or the main page for our customer from where we will create a table that will list down all the records from our customer table okay so there is a bug in when creating new blazor uh, component so as you notice this code block is not recognized so what we need to do is just close this and then reopen again so that the intelligence will recognize our built-in code from blazor okay so now here we need to put page customer okay so we can call this by a localhost slash customer and we will also need to inject http client call it http and on our code block we need to create a customer array Next. okay so as you notice our customer model is not recognized because we need to add a using here since we are going to use this customer model all throughout this customer uh, pages so we just instead of putting the using here on the index page or index component we will add it inside the import file so we'll just copy this namespace then put at using Blazor. Okay. Once we go back to our index, as you notice, it is now recognized as a customer model. The next thing that we need to do is do a think task load customer from where we will assign a value to our customer variable here which is coming from wait http and then we will call the get based on async which is a customer type and we will call the URL which is API customer okay so but this load customer will not be called upon loading of this uh, page so we need to call it on the on initialize perfected override async task on All we just need to do is call a break load okay so that on the initialize of the page or the component it will automatically call this load customer uh, method which will assign the value on our customer variable okay so next thing that we need to do is add a HTML element. So first we need to check if customer is equal to null. Then we will just show a text saying it is still loading. And then else if 
then we will check if customer length or the records in our database is greater than uh, is less than or equal to zero and we will inform show a message that there is no record to this last one is we will display the records that we retrieve from our database into a table okay so we need a key head and the key head we need a row where we will put db Actions so for where we will just add edit and delete button. We will show the ID button. first thing. Middle name. Name. So next we need to make a key body and then inside the key body we need to make a for loop or for each for each cost in our customer variable so we need to do a okay so later we will add it here and add it with it cost Okay, so we're done with this, so we can test this. We can call this index. Uh, page or our customer page but first we need to take a navigation link by the navigation menu so which is this one so we will call the page customer and caption so this one automatically called this customer page so let's try it out let's just click this customer so as you can see it successfully loaded some data from our SQL Server 2019. Let's verify it by opening our database and our customer table. So as you can see, this data is loaded on our customer page. Okay. So now we just need to add a new button and add the edit and delete button on each of the row here. So let's do it now. Here, okay. Anchor yes. button info new customer added customer. Okay. So right now we don't have yet this page, but we will create this later. Then we need to do it here. Button. Primary. Just need to add an icon here. Us. And so. Okay, so this OI is coming from this open iconic process. Okay, so it's like font awesome. Coming with it. Next one, we need to create a button. This is for our delete. Okay, 
So let's try that. Working. We'll show the buttons that we have created now. The customer. So as you can see, the buttons is showing. So now let's create the page for the create customer. Okay, so inside the customer folder, we'll just create another component, which is create. Okay, okay same thing earlier. We just need to close, then open, so that our intelligence will work. Page. Customer. Then create. Then PTP so that we can call our PTI and then we need to inject another one which is the navigation manager so that after we create the new record we will reroute it to our customer okay and here we need to create a customer so it was the new customer and next one we need to create Async task to create custom. Then we will call our API with the rate with post JSON async and call the customer then pass the Okay. Our next thing that we need to do is create a edit form and our model customer. And on valid submit, so meaning there's no error on our entry. So we will call the So next thing we need to create are the fields. back button so we can go back to our this So let's try our create uh, function. New. So as you can see, it loaded our form. Okay. Customer. As you can see it is inserted. Customer, click back. So it go back to the list. So to make this uh, video short, so we'll just do the edit functionality on the next video. So hopefully you learn something from here. And see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Bye.